Hi, so here we have a question which was asked by seven people from India and I couldn't get uh, two of their names and five of them are Atul Vivedi, Subhendu Mahapatra, Surajit Arya, Mr. Muna and Bikash. So in this problem we have a square whose dimensions are 15 by 15 and then we have drawn certain lines and here we get a square which is shaded in blue and we have to find the area of this square. So if we see this drawing properly, here we have a square and inside that square we have another square which is shaded in blue and we also have one, two, three and four triangles and of course we have few more smaller triangles and all these triangles are actually congruent and all these triangles are right angle triangles. Here this is 90 degrees and this will also be 90 degrees. Similarly this will be 90 degrees and this will be 90 degrees and this will also be 90 degrees right and since this is 90 degrees this angle these smaller triangles that means this triangle this triangle this triangle and this small triangle they are also right angle triangles and this side will be parallel to this side and if I consider this as transversal this angle will be equal to this angle and this is a common angle between this tiny triangle and that big triangle. So let me name this tiny triangle as ABC and if I call this point as D and this point as E, triangle ABC is similar to triangle ADE where the ratio of AB and AD is equal to the ratio of BC that is base of this tiny triangle to DE, this base of bigger triangle ADE. AB over AD is 5 over 15 that is 1 3 that means the ratio of BC and DE is also 1 is to 3. So if I assume BC is equal to X then DE will be equal to 3X because the ratio of BC and DE is 1 is to 3, right? And if you see properly here, this side is equal to this side is equal to this side is equal to this side. That means if I assume this as X, this side is equal to 3X and this tiny portion is equal to X and what about the length of CE? So this is the ratio between AB and AD and BC and DE and since those two triangles are similar, the ratio between these sides AC and AE will also be same. So in place of AC, if I put 3X divided by AE is equal to 1 over 3 or you can say AE is equal to 9X. So AE is equal to 9X that means CE which is actually equal to AE minus AC this will be equal to 9x minus 3x equal to 6x. So we have found one side of the square which is equal to 6x, right? So each side is equal to 6x and the area of the square will be 6x multiplied by 6x that is 36x square. So area of this blue shaded square will be 36x square. Now what is this x square? See if you see triangle ADE in triangle ADE, ADE is a right angle triangle that means AD square is equal to DE square plus AE square. So AD is equal to 15. So 15 square is equal to DE square, DE is equal to 3x that is 9x square plus AE square, AE is equal to 9x. So this will be equal to 9 nines are 81 x square and from here x square will be equal to 15 square that is 225 divided by 81 plus 9 is 90. So 15 6 are 90 and 15 15 are 225. So x square is equal to 15 over 6. So from here the area will be 36 multiplied by 15 over 6. 15 6 are 90 square units. That means the area of the shaded square will be 90 square units. So that's all for this video and if you also have any interesting problem for which you need a solution, please send your problem to the number shown on the screen and keep watching MathSmart, subscribe to it and don't forget to press the notification bell because then only you'll get to know about my new upcoming videos. So bye bye till then.